From locker bundles to new emotes, the Prowler, Lantern Trials, New 7 vs. IO Battles, and much, much more, tomorrow's V20.20 update is going to be a massive one, so what's going on, champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here, and ahead of tomorrow's update, I'm going to be recapping all the information based on leaks and just news in general that you should know going into the next update. So without further ado, let's start off today's video by talking about the Lantern Trials and locker bundles. In order to celebrate Lantern Fest 2022, one of the things Epic Games is doing is releasing Power Strong's Locker Bundle into the Fortnite Item Shop on April 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This bundle includes the Shadow Ops skin with, of course, the Prospect Backwing that goes along with the skin, the Astral Axe Pickaxe, the Burning Beast Glider, and the Daydream Emote. So it's a nice selection of cosmetics that if you wanted any of them, you could get it at a discounted price when it releases in the Item Shop the exact same day as the brand new update. That isn't the only thing they're doing, however, because because you'll be able to get some free rewards in Fortnite from the Lantern Festival trials that are set to go live April 20th. Now, as of right now, the trials, like the actual challenges we'll have to do, is currently unknown, but it is set to last around four to five days, ending on April 24th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, so I assume it might be something similar like the Zero Build trials, where each day we had a special challenge we could do for a free reward. And for the final part of what they're planning to do for Lantern Fest 2022, they're going to be releasing the How Sweet emote to the Fortnite item shop the exact same night as that locker bundle, and this emote was actually an Icon Series emote related to the Turkish chef Cezian Burak. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play the full clip that Epic Games actually privated on their YouTube channel as I was making this video. It's a pretty nice emote, and the whole entire reason why Oren is just, you know, having that giant smile on them is because it's the iconic facial expression for Burak, because in all the photos you can find of this person whenever you look them up on Google, they always are smiling and showing off some of their creations in the magical world of food. However, of course, the actual update for V20.20 isn't just going to be related to the Lantern Festival, so let's go ahead and shift our gears on over to Seven versus the IO. Currently, we've seen two battles take place, the Daily Bugle and the ongoing one at Condo Canyon. However, in the next update, we will have two more battles. Right when the update releases, the battle will move over to Coney Crossroads, and then during the next week's content update, we will have the battle move on over to Rocky Rills. Each time one of these battles end, of course, the seven are going to be taking control of those areas, and the map will dynamically update with the red and blue lines to signify these changes and change where the current battle is going forwards at. And of course, each time one of these battles actually happens, we will have some special daily quests that we can complete for some extra free XP. And they're most likely going to be like all the other ones where it's like, go up to the blimp and loot this specific thing. Eliminate, you know, a few IO enemies that are in this area. Just some simple quests that you can do repeatedly to gain some free XP every other day. And speaking of free XP, as you might have saw by the thumbnail of today's YouTube video, we mentioned some Clombos being in there. And while Clombos haven't officially returned to the island as of yet, we are going to be seeing, hopefully, more Clombos secret challenges on the game where you'll be able to go to different mounds on the map in order to, you know, have a little bit more of that Clombo lore to figure out if they are hiding or if they're just in hibernation. Now, currently, we've only had the snow mound searching quest for Clombo. However, they also have some sand mound quest and some dirt mound secret quests as well, where you'll be able to go to different areas, search these mounds in order just to get some extra XP, so Epic Games can really stretch out the secret quest line between three updates, being V20.20, and then finally, v20.30 so we might see you know some dirt mounds we can interact with the next update or it might be sand mounds or epic games should just be like eh, we're gonna delay it another week you know we're just gonna delay that one a little bit further let me know in the comments down below though what do you think about clombos having the secret quest line related to them and do you hope epic games actually starts doing some more interesting secret quest lines that you can't see in your quest menu more often personally i think it's a really cool aesthetic that adds to the gameplay and as long as you're like keeping up with all the news and you know making sure you're keeping up with everything going on with the game it makes it a lot more interesting to actually just uncover one of these completely randomly. On top of all of this, we will also be seeing all the Prowler challenges added in tomorrow's update. However, the Prowler won't be available until Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time when the new weekly challenges come out as well. So it's going to be very interesting to get a two-day heads up on, oh, hey, the challenges work this specific way. We have to do this specific thing just to, you know, get a better understanding of how hard it's actually going to be to unlock Prowler and all their cosmetics. 
And actually, since we're on the topic of Prowler, I thought I would throw this in here, you know, to throw a little bit of extra news. I've been getting a lot of questions based on what Prowler's variant's going to be, because if you look in the actual bonus page tab, you'll notice that it says Prowler has extra variants, and the variant he currently has just removes the cape. That's the only variant they currently are set to have, but who knows, maybe Epic Games will add more Prowler variants in the near future once we get that update. As of right now, however, it's just a cape variant and a no cape variant. Now, aside from all the new content we're supposed to be getting in the next update, something I thought I should mention is that we do have a few bugs that are going to be fixed in tomorrow's update, but it's not a entire, you know, major package of bug fixes. Currently, as of right now, we only have two for Battle Royale, one being that some players can't slide after sprinting if the toggle sprint option is disabled, and then another one being where in Battle Royale, if you leave a boat while boosting on land, it may cause your controllers just to permanently vibrate for the rest of the match. Those Battle Royale issues are going to be fixed. For creative mode, some of the HUD sizing issues for the Accolade device is going to be fixed. And then for Save the World, the actual commander perk description for Sleuth is going to be fixed as, you know, it, they mention a perk in a part of the Rosie ability that isn't actually a perk anymore that you can use. So yeah, overall we have a slight amount of bug fixes, nothing too important however, and we should be getting at least a decent amount of content. Now as a reminder with the 7 versus IO battles, each time one of those battles ends, the blimp above the battle area is going to crash down onto either the island or somewhere in the ocean if they do what they did with the Daily Bugle blimp. So I would love to hear what you guys are excited for in the comments down below. And with that said, my name's Fire Monkey. If you enjoyed today's YouTube video and you enjoyed the information I provided, consider subscribing to support the content I create and I'll catch you champs and champettes tomorrow with the update video. Peace out.